Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I going to show you how to make Thai style Hainanese chicken with rice. I have a one whole chicken. And this is khao man kai. So khao man kai is the um, chicken and the uh, rice and chicken fat. So we're gonna have to remove some extra chicken fat from our whole chicken. I have some already removed and saved it from before because I I want extra oily from the chicken fat. Okay. Now the more part that you can find chicken fat, fat it will be over here. Just gonna remove them. You can find a lot over here on both sides, but this is like um, young chicken. They're a little bit small, so they might not have a lot of the chicken fat. That's why I saved it from before. And you can find some more on the back side on the chicken necks. Just cut them up, and you can see a lot of fat in here. Okay, and now I'm gonna cut them to small pieces. It will be easy when you fry and try to remove the oil. Okay, that's all my chicken fat. I will put with the one I saved from before, and let's see how much I have. I have about one full cup the chicken fat. Okay, and I'm gonna fry and remove the oil. Okay, after we remove all the chicken fat, now we gonna I gonna. Um, rub the this chicken with the salt, the sea salt. I use um about one tablespoon. Okay, and then just rub all the chick, rub all the salt. Okay. Okay, now I done rub uh chicken. I gonna go ahead and wash my hand and come back for the next step. Okay, and now we ready to cook our chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken into the big pot. Okay, and I'm gonna put the water just for enough to cover our chicken. I just go back and wash my hand again. When you cook with the chicken, you have to wash your hand many, many times. Okay, now I put the water. I start with four cup the uh, fill the water. I want to make sure it will be cup of my chicken. So if not, I'm gonna put another four cup of the filled water. Okay, I'm gonna put another four cup, so eight cup total I use. But depend for your pot, depend for your chicken. Okay, this should be good. And now I'm gonna turn on the heat. I'm just gonna turn on the high heat and start asking the next ingredient. I have the one teaspoon black pepper. I use the one third onion because it's big. If it's small, you can use just half. I use about five cup the garlic. I already wash and clean them good. Put the whole thing. Okay, I use a uh, one small handful the cilantro stem. It's about twenty or twenty five stem. Okay, I gonna put about three or four like the ginger. Okay, I will put one more. All right, and I'm gonna put a uh, another one teaspoon salt. Okay, and I'm gonna put the uh, one tablespoon the seasoning soy sauce. One tablespoon. Okay. All right, and that's it. That's all, and now I'm gonna uh, cover the chicken and leave the gap all a little bit while we wait for our chicken uh, to cook. And I forget to tell you that I leave the gap on because so you know when it's come to boil, so you uh, can check them later. And now when we wait for our chicken to cook, we can come and cook our rice at the same time. So everything will be done almost the same time. Okay, I turn on the medium heat and I can. I'm going to add just a little bit of cooking oil to cook my chicken fat or uh, to help my chicken fat to frying easy. Okay, and I'm gonna wait just for a second until our oil hot enough. Okay, and now our oil uh, start getting hot. I'm gonna add the chicken fat. 
Okay, and now I'm gonna linder down the oil from the chicken fat. Okay, just a medium heat. Okay, now our chicken fat start changing the color and release all the oil from the chicken fat. I gonna and by the time you can hear the your chicken is a boiler too. So I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit. Okay, so I can continue uh, with my chicken fat. Okay, as you can see now the color change. Here I'm gonna remove them. Okay, let me turn the heat to the low heat also and remove all the chicken fat. Actually, I eat them. <laughs> I eat them like my snack. They were crispy and I like them. Or sometimes I put on top of the soup. Okay. And we use our chicken fat because the smell is totally different. They sm smell a lot better than the vegetable oil. So that's why we always use chicken fat. Okay, low heat. Now I'm gonna add garlic. I use four cloves garlic. If too much, like I tell you every time, if too much, just um, put the two cup the garlic. I use four cup, okay, and mix them so the garlic not getting all burned. And I gonna add uh, about two. I gonna add about two slice the ginger. Oh, they drop that one in there. <laughs> I add two slice ginger also. Okay, now our garlic start cooking. Oh, very fat, very, very fat. So you have to keep your eye on this all the time. Okay, I already have my jasmine rice skin. I use three cup jasmine rice. So jasmine rice go in. Okay, and give this a mix. Stir and turn the heat high to medium. And now I turn the heat back to the medium again and stir fry our rice and the oil and the garlic together. We will uh, stir fry our rice until the rice changing the color. And we can go to next step. Okay, now I'm gonna take a break from the rice one second. So don't forget to turn on the low heat so they're not getting burned. See, now you can see the chicken uh, getting boiled a lot and we're gonna cook our chicken for 35 minutes but depend my chicken is small but if you have the large large chicken or bigger chicken you use about 40 or 50 minutes so my gonna use about 35 minutes i'm gonna put the lid back on and leave the gap again so i make sure that they're not over boil and i go back to my rice so you're getting busy all the time so everything will be finished at the same time so it'll be quick and easy. Okay, and now our uh, rice start changing the color. Um, before you can see clear, and now you can see the white milk, white on the rice. So now I'm gonna seasoning this uh, our chicken rice with the, a little bit of salt, sea salt, and about one and a half teaspoon the curly powder. One and a half teaspoon. Right and mix them good, mix everything well again. Okay, okay try to uh, make sure the curry cover all the rice. And now, when the curry cover all the rice, uh, now I'm gonna add uh, my chicken stock. There's a homemade chicken stock, and I put in the refrigerator, that's why they look white like this. My battery just died when I told you I used four cup of the chicken stock. And uh, this is my recipe. So I add on a little curry, but the original one, they didn't have uh, the curry. But I tried with my own and I really like this. Really work with the Hainanese chicken rice. So just try this recipe. You might in love with this too. Okay, and I continue to mix our rice and chicken broth until now they come boiled. So I'm gonna put the lid on, cover them and bring to the low heat. Bring them to the low heat and not open again uh, for 15 minutes and we come back and check it together. Okay, and now I have to wait our rice to cook for 15 minutes and we can come back and check our chicken again. 
Oh, look at this start uh, cooking. So now I'm gonna have to flip the chicken so the chicken bread on top can cook too. Okay. I told you this recipe will keep you busy, busy all the time until we're done. Okay. I'm gonna flip. Okay. I need. Okay. I need two hands. Give me one second. Okay. Be careful with this. Okay. I don't want to break my chicken too. So I hope I'm doing good. Whoop. Oh, yep, they're good. Wow, so okay. So um, I will cook uh, 15 minutes and 15 minutes on each side. So, okay, now I will cover them back again and let them cook. Okay, and now being 15 minutes our rice cooking, I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna rest our rice rest another 10 to 15 minutes until we done our chicken. And now being 35 minutes, our chicken is done. Let me check. Mm. Wow, and look at the broth. It looks so good also. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove my chicken. Mm. Because you don't want to overcook them too. Because all the sweetness from the chicken, it will gone if you overcook them. Mm, I love the skin a little bit, but that's okay. And now you have your container ready and just put your chicken. Okay, and now I have my chicken ready and this smells so good. Now I'm gonna set the chicken on the side and at now at this time, if you have any vegetable, you can add on into the broth so you can serve with the chicken, rice, and then the broth and then the uh, delicious sauce. Okay, and now everything rest for 15 minutes. We let it to open our rice. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna give uh, rice a little mix. Wow, look at how beautiful, the perfect cook. Wow. Okay, as you can see, yeah. Ooh, looks so good and smells so good. And now our chicken cooling down. Now I can use my hand to handle it. I'm gonna remove the chicken to the cutting board. Oh, but still hot. But not not too hot. Okay. And everybody here right the base. So I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna cut the chicken braid. Okay, I'm gonna remove the braid because um, the cameraman only love the braid more. So I'm just gonna remove them. They remove so easy. Oh my God. Even they're still hot. And look at the chicken, really moist inside. But be careful, they're still hot even you uh, give them a rest already. This piece is missing the skin, but that's perfect uh, for me and the cameraman. But in Thailand, a lot of people love the skin. But this one, I'm missing the skin. But uh, if someone like it, no worry, we have a lot of skin on that chicken. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cut this piece of chicken and I will show you how we serve it. Look like a lot of things going on but now time to serving our common guy. Okay our rice look good like we already checked before and now uh, we're gonna have a little bowl and put the our rice chicken rice inside the bowl. Wow look at this rice. Oh, I can wait. Okay and then press them down a little bit Okay, and now I'm gonna put inside the plate. Whoop! Ta-da! Whoop! Looks so good. Okay, I like the color with the little um, curly powder. And now I'm gonna put the chicken on top. Or you can put on the side if you not want to put down the your rice or you can put the chicken on the side also okay but that's how we serve we like to put the chicken on top and we're gonna eat with the we like to eat with the cucumber and garnishing with the cilantro okay so i'm gonna put a, a little cucumber on the side for leaf fishing and then some a little cilantro on top wow okay and now our dipping salt here 
Wow, push mud that you like for the dipping sauce. If you go to the little salon, sometimes they just give you little little bit the dipping sauce. But if you make your own, you can have a lot of dipping sauce because this dipping sauce is so good with the chicken and rice. They're perfect together. Okay, put both of the sauce. All right, and one last thing, one last thing. Don't forget your bras. Ooh. Wow, nice and hot, perfect for the um, winter. Okay, and now I'm just gonna be careful to scoop the our chicken broth. If you have vegetable, you can add on, but tonight we're just gonna eat just like this. Okay, you can put the paper on top and uh, put in the green onion, a little more soy sauce up to you it's up to you okay i'm just gonna put the green onion wow and i'm gonna put the white paper on top a little bit and that's it now we're done we need to serve our hainanese chicken and rice and now our chicken and rice done that's how we serve it we have chicken rice and cucumber and soup and our sauce done i ready to try the big bite okay i want these pieces and i'm gonna put a lot of sauce wow and i like to add on a little bit the back soy sauce also wow okay i put a lot of sauce mm. i think i have two pieces of chicken actually Wow, that sauce. Mm -hmm. mm. Perfect with the cucumber. Mm. That sauce really covers everything, covers the chicken. Okay, and I already put the white paper on top a little bit. And I'm gonna try uh, our broth too. Mm. Perfect. Perfect. It will thin you up with everything with the favorite and then you can have another bite with the Kia Queen your mouth. This is gonna be so good for me and I'm gonna eat it all very fast. I can't wait to finish all the plate right now. So um, if you want to know how to how I make my sauce, just watch the last video and I will put a recipe on my website. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. I hope you like this recipe. If you like the video and recipe, please give me a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Bye.